You know, gun season for deer opens this in Tennessee this weekend, and it is an exciting time for local hunters. And here to get us ready for deer season and talk a little bit about what's happening in the outdoors in East Tennessee is Matt Cameron with the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Man, I look forward to these visits every month with you. We we, we break it down a little bit. And yes, sir. It, deer season for the you know we've had archery, we've had muzzle loader. Now it's Correct. rifle. It's rifle season this weekend. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, always the Saturday before Thanksgiving, right. so it's easy for for a hunter to it's remember. Your it yeah. is. It's probably yeah. the, probably the most hunted season that we have is mm -hmm. the rifle season for white-tailed deer. It's the most popular hunting season we have. And we always want to talk about, when we talk about deer season, make sure that you know where you're going hunting and you're legal where you're going hunting. You want to be safe yes. as well. Correct, yeah. Um, there are different uh, zones uh, for hunting deer in Tennessee and mm -hmm. they're broken down uh, for management purposes. So right. make sure you know the, the area that you're hunting and right. what you are allowed to take because the mm -hmm. limits are different when you go from zone to zone. So pay mm -hmm. attention to that and make sure you have your licenses as yes. well. You know, if you have a sportsman license, you're covered right. uh, for, for everything. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you need your, your combination hunting and fishing license mm -hmm. plus your big game gun license. And there are opportunities to take antlerless deer or does right. um, during the gun season and you need a type 94 permit. And that's one that a lot of folks forget. It's a special right. season permit, so make sure you have that as well. And I know, we, you know, I mentioned it there briefly, but we also want to remind everyone to be as safe as possible. I mean, it seems like every year we have an accident or, you know, or two or three in the state. We really love to go through the entire deer season without an accident. We would. Yeah, you know, most of our hunting incidents uh, occur mm -hmm. when a hunter falls from an elevated stand, right. not wearing a safety harness, but on occasion we do have someone shot, mm -hmm. uh, mistaken for game or other uh, some other type of hunting mm -hmm. um, incident. So wearing that blaze orange is going to prevent uh, most, if not all, of those mistaken for game right. shootings. That stuff is bright. You can see it forever away. So don't don't skimp on that. Deer don't pay any attention to it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to pick you up. So right. be safe and wear that for sure. Absolutely. And, you know, we've got several other hunting seasons that are going on in, in conjunction with deer season right now. Correct. Yeah, a lot of small so game. small game is, and so you want to be careful. I mean, because the woods are, some if, no matter what, Depending on where you go, there can be a lot of folks in there hunting. Okay, and a lot of folks have to depend on public land for yes. hunting, so you're mm -hmm. going to have company out there, and that's when you have to be extra careful and mindful right. of others in the woods with you. And now in West Tennessee, they're facing a little bit of a problem with CWD, with chronic wasting disease. We we want to contain that as much as possible. So there's some new regulations in, in place there as well, aren't there? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been in place for a few years now, and uh, it's, it's slowly growing from that nucleus um, area mm -hmm. where the, the disease has been detected. Mm -hmm. But we want to keep it out there and it's nowhere near East Tennessee now and that's right. important but it could become near us if you bring an infected deer back to East Tennessee right. you turn it you throw it away in the environment it mm -hmm. infects the uh, the environment the grass the, the clover another deer eats it and they get the right. disease it's that um, it's um, that contagious. contagious of a disease yeah. correct so if you do go hunt out there in that area check our hunting guide for mm -hmm. uh, the counties that you're hunting and make sure that you don't bring infected deer back. You have to process them right. out there, debone the meat and all that sort of stuff before you come back. And I know a, really quickly, I know a lot of folks are, you know, even though it's cooling off, it's getting, and the lake levels are dropping, there's still a lot of folks out there fishing. We want to remind everybody, be warm, be safe on the waterways, especially this winter. It's really easy yeah. to get hypothermia. It, it is, and we just had a, a man lost his life a couple of days ago there on the Clinch River, um, going upstream above Big Sycamore Creek, mm -hmm. hit a bridge in Butman. Mm -hmm. he from the vessel and then he died 75 year old man Whew. wasn't wearing a life jacket I don't know if that came into play or not but yeah. it, it can and it does happen so right. wear be, those life jackets. be safe no matter what you're doing in the outdoors yes, that's sir. the key right there. it is Matt Cameron well we appreciate you if you need more information go to tngov.twra